to the UAE, Afghanistan and here in Iraq to meet with some of our 1,500 men and women who are currently deployed across uh, many uh, different operations and different areas and uh, different mission supports. Uh, it was really important for me to come here within the first few weeks of becoming Minister to meet our men and women and to talk to them, find out about their experiences and just to see how, how they were going and to get some idea of what they're experiencing here. It was also important for me to meet with the governments uh, and Crown Prince in the UAE, the Afghan government minister and the Minister of Defence here to really get an idea of our partners here and what their thinking is in terms of the future. My overwhelming impression from our men and women, both from them and also from our allies and partners, is that they are doing a brilliant job here. Uh, they are professional, they are respected and they are trusted. Getting a sense of what's happening on the ground to take back uh, to discuss with the Prime Minister and my Cabinet colleagues in terms of where we, we go. But my message to the region and is that we have uh, been here for the long haul and we will still be here. But again, as we always have, working out what the future looks like and how we transition to that across the region. You know, I ask the question always, you know, what is the one thing that struck you and what's the thing that you will take back and remember in terms of this deployment here? And almost universally, they've said the people I work with and the teams that I work with and actually understanding the difference that we're making to people's lives. And that is a very important message for me to take back to Australia is that our men and women here who, who are serving currently and all of those, you know, for example, the last 19 years in Afghanistan is they have made a significant difference to the lives of you know, women and children, many hundreds of thousands, who have a very different life and the opportunity for a very different life now than they would have had we not been so uh, involved here as that we have been. So while our service men and women, they enlist and they, they volunteer to do operations uh, like we have here in the region, their families are conscripts and their families are the ones that make their service possible and uh, look after the home fires. Uh, so for me, to them, thank you very much to the families as well for their service. today. I was over at uh, Anzac Cove a bit earlier on and had a chance to talk to, to some of you over there. But the first thing I want to say to each and every one of you is thank you. Uh, I know sometimes being on, on deployment, especially uh, here, it can feel like you're a very long way from home and that back home in Australia we don't, we've, we don't know what you're doing out here. What I want to say to you, uh, first of all from the Prime Minister, is that again thank you from him, but we do understand exactly what you're doing here. Um, over the last 19 years it has changed and it will continue to evolve and that's one of the things I'm over here and uh, at NATO earlier this week to discuss is where, where to from here. I also want to thank your families. You guys enlist, you know, we, all, we all enlist in this but your families don't. Uh, they're conscripts to service to our nation. So I'd ask each and every one of you, when you're talking to, to your spouses and your kids today, or when you talk to them next, is please just pass the thanks on from me and from the Prime Minister, because we know just how hard it can be when you are deployed for so long for those who keep the home fires, home fires burning. The people that uh, we're helping the Afghan government and their defence forces here fight also pose a threat to us in our region and also in Australia. And there will never be a more responsible uh, job and a greater, a greater privilege uh, than I will ever do than be your minister and make sure that we do everything to ensure that you and the people you serve with come home safely. So thank you very much. Today, Private Hamley is sustainably promoted to the rank of Lance Corporal.
you like being incorrectly dressed. I just wanted to say again thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, the service that some of you, many of you are here for the first time, first time on, on deployment and I know a number of you have been uh, you know, to, to many other to here multiple times and also to other places. But your service does matter and it does count. Uh, whether it is in Afghanistan or whether it is here in, here in Iraq, what you are doing is helping provide stability and providing an opportunity for, as I said, for many thousands of people to live a life they would never have had without the work that you are doing. It is, it is very important. <laughs> 